In this episode, we're going to be having a look at how I retouched one of the images from the Obotique shoot. All the images have been shot raw. I've processed them through Capture One and then opened them up in Photoshop. And while, whilst I've been retouching, I've been doing a screen recording. So let's get started. Right, I've opened up my image and the first thing that I'm going to do is copy the background layer. My background layer will stay as is, I won't touch that layer and I can always refer back to it if I'm not happy with anything that I've done. We'll go through the image, have a look and see, I'll do a bit of a clean up on pimples, marks or blemishes in the skin that I particularly don't like. On this particular image, I'm wanting to create a very desaturated, um, smooth looking skin. It's a bit of a surreal feel that we're wanting to, to achieve. So yeah, I'm going to work on from there. Now that I've cleaned up the pimples and I've got everything looking to where I want to do, I'm going to flatten all the layers and then I'm going to make a copy of that flattened layer and then I'll go back in my history palette and I will go back to where I have the two layers and I'll paste the um, flattened layer above the other layer. This is a little technique that I've created. Um, I have some actions that I'll be using in this where I've got layers and, and techniques that I've developed over years. I use actions quite often when retouching. This is a great way to speed up your retouching. In later episodes, we're gonna go through how to set up actions and how to record actions. What this action does is in the mask layer, it keeps the image and I'm, on my base layer, um, you'll notice that the, the, the mask is quite black in certain areas and lighter. That's, and then the other one is an inversion of that. And if I adjust those and I brighten the bottom one and I darken the, the top one, that brings a lot of contrast into the image without affecting the color of the image. Once I've done that, I'll go and blur the, the actual image on the um, copied layer. And what this does is that it creates a very soft feel in the skin. If I were to take off the two adjustment layers that I've created above, you just get a very soft, blurry looking skin, which is not pretty at all. But if I keep those layers in, it brings back the texture into the skin. What I try and do when I'm retouching is I try and keep as much texture and as much look and feel as possible of the natural skin. It's important that you don't want them looking like porcelain dolls, but we do want them to have, in this, especially in this particular instance, I want them to have a nice smooth skin. As I said, it has got that slightly surreal look about it that I'm trying to achieve. You'll notice that I'm going very roughly with the first one, just painting over the skin. And you can see how it's also brought some nice contrast and tone into the skin as I'm doing it. And it's quite soft and smooth. What I'll do then is I'll go back into the mask and with a black um, on my brush, I will go and paint out the areas that we want to remain sharp that we don't want any of the blur on and then i'll go in and i'll work on close on on the eyes and on the mouth and lips where i want everything absolutely sharp by using this method as well and using those layers that i've got up there and using a soft brush it works lovely with transitions that we don't get harsh lines showing exactly where i've worked it's a transition between the sharp areas and the dark areas and they all blend into each other now what I'm going to do is go in and go and make a black and white. I like using calculations and I'm using a soft light in this. I find that by mixing the, the colors and calculations gives you the best black and white that I've seen. But in the meanwhile, I'm just going to copy this on and then I'm going to go into my channels and I'm going to find a channel that I feel has got a nice mix of tones from lights to darks in that particular channel. And I'm going to create a mask from that channel. And from there, you can see it's desaturated the image away. What I'll do from there is I'll adjust that mask slightly, get it to a point where I feel happy with the contrast in it, where the skin tones are maybe coming through a bit nicer. As you can see, we've done some adjustments. And then from there, I might adjust the opacity on that layer, just slightly down up until I'm happy with it. There we go. We've set it on a 84% opacity. And I'm going to flatten this whole image now and I'm going to create a new um, layer which I'm going to copy and then I'll go back into my history like I had done before and then bring all the layers back again and paste that copy layer over the top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a soft layer over this. What I find with using soft light is that it brings this contrast and you put a slight blur on it 
and then we'll bring the opacity right down and that creates a really interesting look into the image and what I'll do is I can because I've got my base layer as it is I can scroll right down to the bottom of my layers palette there we go and by holding the alt key down I can click between where we were and where we are now and I think we've created a nice interesting result that's a very quick look at how I retouch an image hope you enjoyed that well I'm really happy with what we've achieved there it's what I was looking for um, remember a tip to take away with you use a non-destructive method of retouching that's done by by using adjustment layers if you got any questions leave them in the comments section below and we'll come and try and tackle them in the forthcoming episodes.